Hello, welcome back to the Average Pace YouTube channel. We're just started starting our outlet for the fixed Ferrari D Class race at Spa. There was no races that I wanted to do this week on C Class, so I thought I'd go for Ferrari. But before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Mary Pettifer, my dear auntie for watching and commenting lovely things on every single one of my videos so thank you if you want to check out her channel no doubt the comment her comment will be in the section below if you go and check out her channel she writes her own short stories and puts other clips up and narrates them all herself so if you want to go and subscribe to her channel check her out see what you think she'll no doubt return her love Anyway, fixed Ferrari. It's been a while since we've done these. I haven't done a single one this season. It's a good start. But I love this car. It is definitely, easily, one of my favourites. I'm not doing a very good job of warming, warming it up right now. I'm not showing it any love. It is easily one of my favourites. It's a nice, quick, nice little sprint race. And it's a lot of fun. And it's very, <laughs> very destructive to both your I rating and safety rating, which is a shame. I also found out that as long as I've completed my four races in C class, it doesn't matter which races I do, whether it's rookie or D or C, I'll still get promoted. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, that's a good thing, because it means... Oh, that's not a good start. It means that I can race the Ferrari, earn my safety racing. And still get promoted. Which is great. Sorry, I was just changing my brake bias. It's hard to do six things at once. Exit was poor. Oversteer. Entry was poor. Oversteer on the exit. Could be worse could be much worse. I'm going to shut up now and focus. Because I need so much focus down the straight. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my brake bias. That was a mistake. mess that up. I don't really mind where we qualify as long as it's a, a good clean race because it's that safety rating I'm after. I'm not really enjoying C class. There's not really... Uh, I, I like the Formula 3 but only at certain tracks and at the moment it's at the Nürburgring and I've just got no confidence around that for some reason. Laguna Seca, I was flying. Loved it. But Nürburgring, not so much. I think it's VAR next uh, or VIR Virgin Virginia International Race, whatever it's called. I think it's there next week. Or Sebring. And uh, VIR haven't really raced and Sebring's a fantastic track so it should be alright then. But we shall see. Let's see what time. I'm looking for a low a low 120 or 220, whatever it is. A low 20 seconds or a high 19. Because that's what I was doing in practice. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's it's not slow. 119. That's much faster than I thought it was going to be. I don't actually, that's the fastest time I've ever got, I think. <laughs> Blooming neck. Right, I'll keep the brake bias where it is this time. Mess that up a bit. 
Maybe I should record every race I do, because apparently I can concentrate better. <laughs> ah. I really messed that one up. Oh, you don't want to go to first gear, eh? Right? Well, we ran out of time. <laughs> Let's see where we are. Paul! Oh, the pressure! <laughs> I did not want Paul. If that were completely true, I wouldn't have you know, tried. Uh, but anyway, that's it for qualifying. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to check out uh, my Auntie Mary, Mary Pettiford's channel, if that's your thing, because she will show you a lot of support if you, whatever content you do is up her alley. And I shall see you in the race. Spoiler alert, I win. <laughs>